Hello, it's Jim Hutchins for the Jerusalem Connection Spot Report for this week. I just came from a meeting at a house right across the street from the Israeli Embassy in Washington, D.C. The purpose of the gathering was to welcome a new member of the staff of the embassy who uh, is to serve as the Director of Strategic Outreach. And that basically means he is to reach out and nurture uh, relationships that are supportive of Israel, to inform, educate, and activate support. That's exactly the terminology of, the, of our, our mission here in the Jerusalem Connection, to inform, educate, and activate support for Israel and the Jewish people. Uh, of course, I was pleased to hear him say that. Uh, and I was pleased, actually, to see the embassy taking this statement, uh, uh, this direction taking this status, this stature, of reaching out and nurturing and developing relationships with Christians because Christians are the best friends that Israel has on this planet. Christian Zionists, those who, those who believe that the modern state of Israel is a partial fulfillment of God's promise to provide a national homeland for the Jewish people. He has made that by covenant promise and that is happening as we speak. Uh, at the same time as the growing uh, anti-Semitism worldwide, and it is growing, uh, as well as the anti-Semitism anti that is prevalent in our secular university campuses, along with that there is growing exponentially the support of Christians, groups, individuals all across the planet. And Israel knows that there's, that is where their best friends are. And they're making a provision for that. And we should be grateful for that and we should avail ourselves of that. At the close of the meeting, a local rabbi, one of the uh, better known rabbis in the Washington, D.C. area, was asked to make some remarks and to close in prayer. At the beginning of his remarks, he said something like this, I paraphrase. He said, Christianity had its beginnings with Judaism. At that time, they were together. And he said, I believe with all my heart that the day is coming when the two will become one once again. That's uh, an enormous statement. That's a huge statement by a rabbi. And I couldn't help but think of, of Paul's statement in Ephesians chapter 2, <clears throat> where he says this in verse 12. Speaking to Gentiles, he says, remember at that time you were separate from the Messiah when you were considered Gentiles, excluded from citizenship in Israel. Excluded from citizenship in Israel. That was your former condition. What's your present condition? He goes on to say, your former condition, you were excluded from citizenship in Israel. You were foreigners to the covenants of promise without hope and without God in this world. That was your condition. But now in Messiah Jesus, you who were once far away have been brought near through the blood of the Messiah. His purpose, the Messiah's purpose, was to create in himself one new man out of the two and thus making peace. And then he concludes by saying, consequently, you are no longer foreigners and aliens, but fellow citizens. Fellow citizens where? Where is our citizenship, our spiritual citizenship? It's in the Israel of God. Consequently, we're no longer foreigners and aliens, but fellow citizens, citizens with God's people and a member of God's household built on the foundation of the apostles and the prophets with Messiah Jesus himself as the chief cornerstone. That's where we're headed. That's where the rabbi said we were heading. And that's where the scripture said we were heading. We're not there yet, but that's where we're headed. We're fast moving in that direction. So get on board. We're moving to a oneness that will be brought about by God himself. Till next week, Od Ki of Oshilo, or until Messiah comes, Yavareka Yahweh. Yahweh bless you and bless yours.